The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie. Edited and abridged 2023 Cranky Octopus Productions. Emily Inglethorpe. Prior to her recent marriage, Emily was Mrs. Cavendish and remains the matriarch of the Cavendish family. Emily's first husband was the late Mr. Cavendish, a widower with two very young sons, who possessed a considerable fortune including their country estate, Styles Court. Upon Mr. Cavendish's death the entirety of the estate was left to Emily for her lifetime, an arrangement that was distinctly unfair to his two sons, John and Lawrence Cavendish. Emily is now in her 70s but has lost none of her vigor and sharp autocratic personality. Emily flatters herself as a beacon of the community and enjoys playing the Lady Bountiful, but never without the expectation of a return and a pledge of unwavering loyalty. Emily likes to yield her whip hand frequently, demonstrated most markedly by her inclinations to draft new wills given to her current mood. Wills that would benefit and slight various members of the household who have recently wronged her. Emily shocked the whole of the village of Stiles St. Mary when she announced her engagement to Alfred Inglethorpe, her newly appointed secretary who is 20 plus years her junior and a newcomer to Stiles Court. Alfred Inglethorpe Alfred came to Stiles Court on the pretext of visiting Evelyn Howard, a distant cousin who resides at Stiles. Alfred has a distinct appearance with a great long black beard, round thick-rimmed spectacles and attires himself in a manner that could not in any way be confused with what is called country practical, that is the norm in the village. If Alfred's physical appearance was not enough to arouse agitation by the household, his swift courtship of the elderly Mrs. Cavendish earned him a firm and rooted position of disfavor. With Alfred's marriage to Emily came the whole of her vast fortune, the larger part of which would have passed to her two stepsons upon her death had she not remarried. John Cavendish John is Emily's eldest stepson and like all who reside at Stiles Court is completely dependent on the generosity of Emily's command of the estate. John's own mother died, and his father remarried when he was so young that John has always thought of Emily as his own mother, although there is no blood relation. John has become resentful of the financial arrangement left in his father's will and struggles continually with his own finances. According to his father's original will, John was poised to wholly inherit the estate after his stepmother's death, however, with Emily's remarriage to Alfred Inglethorpe he is now dependent on Emily's whims for testamentary bequests. Mary Cavendish Mary is John's extraordinarily beautiful wife who resides with him at Stiles Court and lends her hand working on the family land. Mary led an adventurous life in her youth traveling with her father in the consular service after her mother died at a young age, however her father soon died too and left her very badly off being forced to accept the charity of distant relatives in the English countryside. Mary wed John Cavendish as an escape from her charitable surroundings, However ending up at the rural estate of Stiles Court in deep financial difficulty has left their marriage strained and cold. Lawrence Cavendish Lawrence is John's younger brother and is viewed to be a complete contrast to his older brother. John is said to be decisive and respectable, albeit rather unimaginative and lacking depth. Lawrence had once studied to be a physician but abandoned his practice to write poetry without any success. Lawrence is perceived by others to be rather introspective in a brooding and dark manner. Lawrence went through the little inheritance allowed to him quickly in pursuit of his failed writing career and like the others is dependent upon his stepmother in a submissive fashion. Dr. Bowerstein Dr. Bowerstein is a famous London specialist, who is known to be one of the greatest authorities on toxicology. Dr. Bowerstein is currently leasing a cottage in the village of Stiles St. Mary and has become acquainted with all the residents at Stiles Court. Among these acquaintances, the most favored by far is Mary Cavendish, the two spend a great deal of time together and Dr. Bowerstein seems to be the only person in which Mary is invariably charming towards. Evelyn Howard Evelyn Howard or Givy is Emily's oldest companion and acts as a house manager at Stiles. Evie has a brusque and abrupt manner and her conversation tends to be couched in the telegraphic style. 
Although Alfred Inglethorpe is cousin of Evie and came to Styles via her acquaintanceship, no member of the household has a greater vehemence of hatred towards Alfred than Evie. Evie does little to conceal her temperament and the atmosphere of tension heightens every time the two are in the same room. Cynthia Murdoch Cynthia is a protege of Emily's, the daughter of an old schoolfellow of hers who fell on hard times and left the girl an orphan and penniless. Emily came to Cynthia's rescue and she has been living on the generosity of Styles Court ever since. Cynthia is a pretty, youthful young girl who works in a dispensary as a pharmacist. Cynthia refers to Emily as, Aunt Emily, although this too is not a blood relation Cynthia always remains at the ready to perform any task asked of her by her caretaker. Hercule Poirot The famed Belgian retired detective who is staying in style St. Mary with seven other Belgian refugees that were granted sanctuary by one of Emily's charitable foundations. Arthur Hastings Captain Arthur Hastings was a childhood friend of John Cavendish and was asked to stay for a visit at Stiles Court after a chance encounter with John in their adult life. Hastings remembers Emily in her younger life as Mrs. Cavendish and was friendly with Lawrence Cavendish as a boy, but was never well acquainted with him and is a complete stranger to all others now inhabiting Stiles Court. Hastings is also a great personal friend of Hercule Poirot. 